What's up guys, how you guys doing? So I wanna let you guys know what beard oil I've been using. You can see from the title, I'm talking about Grave Before Shave, established in 2013, so here it is. Grave Before Shave, established in 2013. Now, I've been using this beard oil. You just squirt it down like this. And when I first started using beard oil, I used to put it on my hands and get it on. Get it on. Now I'm getting to the length of where I just, two squirts, one, sometimes one squirt, and one squirt, sometimes if it gets too dry, I would want to do two. If it's windy outside, rub it in my hands and just put it on like this, put it on like this, take a little like this, and just lightly, gently do the mustache and the soul patch. So, beard before, grave before shave, beard before grave. Beard Before Shave, all right, is a, is a company out in California. And this this one actually has bay rum as a scent. I don't know if you can see that. It's got bay rum as a scent, okay? And it it it's great with the scents that I like to wear. I also use this. After I apply this on, I apply their beard balm, right? To kind of get my, my, my beard fixed in a certain way. Now look at this, I had this on my counter. And someone and uh, I went to go visit someone's house and I take my stuff, my products. I'm staying the night, put this on the counter, and they were like, "Damn, what is all this gear you got?" You know, people want to know, like, "What do you have all these pirates on your gear? What what is this stuff?" So I had to explain to them. So this is beard balm. Okay, it's not beard butter, but it's a little bit harder than beard butter. However, this wow smells so good. It smells that like the. Smells a bit like, it smells like rum, okay? It smells like rum. So you're gonna smell like rum, and it's quite potent, but it doesn't disturb my, it doesn't disturb the senses, and it dries down really nicely. It mixes with two certain fragrances I like to wear it with. I'll actually I wear it all the time, but two in particular that I like to wear it with, and that'll be the Invictus, okay? Invictus Aqua and Invictus, the regular joint Invictus, okay? Because, these two have a um, an aquatic vibe to it. It smells like ocean, and because um, this one has like that violet leaf smell to it. Now, which one is stronger? Which Invictus is stronger? For me, for me right now, Invictus Aqua. I've been told is stronger. It's just piercing. It's powerful, and it projects, and it lasts quite a long time. This one is banging out the doors in the opening, the mids, but this one is actually stronger for me. I don't know what batch do I have here. There's a batch number. Yeah, the batch number, uh, I can't even locate it. Oh, 090151, batch number 90151. And this one is 83441. So the Invictus is 83441, and this is 90541. No, sorry, 90151. And then 83441 on this Invictus. So yep, batches. But this one it smells much stronger than this one, okay? So you would think this is sweeter, it smells stronger. No, no, this has a violet leaf that I can literally taste. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It just smells like ocean and broxen and purple violet. Yes. And it's got, of course, that bubblegum note in the background, but with this violet, purple violet flower in here. Violet leaf. So this one has got this taste of a... Of, uh, of of flour, but not like flour you taste it, but you can taste something here. It's got that, the bubble, the gum, the, the the fruitiness is tasteful, it's juicy, okay? This one, this this fruitiness is sweet. So this is sweet and this is like juicy. Yeah, in the purple way. And this one is like sweet. This is also sweet and it's got that oceanic vibe, okay? So I don't know, when I wear these two, I really enjoy this one in the background giving me this this uh this rum like right across my face and i've been told when i get close it just smells people can smell it like if they're if someone's standing right next to you they can smell it okay it smells this especially right after you've applied it and you can smell it and i've been told oh it smells really um really um sexy that smells really mature i've been told it smells really mature and people can smell it oh it smells like a little bit like um whiskey but I'm telling them it's rum. So someone said it smells like whiskey, but it's rum. This right here, I don't want to touch it right now, but it's, uh, you have to get it with a beard balm. And I got, and I, um, if you're just like going to, um, if you go to CVS, you can get beard oil. 
you can't really you can get this as well um and you can get depends on where you are where you can get what you can get but i really think you should go and try out um grave before shave uh it's made in the usa and you should just buy both this was like this was like twelve dollars and this was this was uh what ten dollars so it's like twenty dollars together but it really helps your 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 skin there's this alleviates itchiness and this locks that oil in there and um and makes it easier to comb it through very comfortable and i like to wear my aquatics when i wear these two when i wear this i wear it all the time though but i also have something else that um doesn't have like a stronger such a strong smell but this doesn't smell that strong okay so even if you don't like fragrances i, I recommend you get this if you have a really short beard i recommend you still get this one because it that that stubble sometimes is sharp and itchy and you want to scratch your face if you put this on just go like that and rub it on your face even if you have short short stubble which is a very attractive look right now these days and you rub it on your face it's going to give you um it's going to make your, your skin feel very very soft and you're not going to touch your face as much it's not going to itch and become annoying so that's why i recommend you get this you get beard oil even if you don't have a beard you just have that stubble going on really really good for your skin it's just really healthy for your skin it keeps it from aging it protects it and it gives you a nice really a nice smell on your face now uh, people say that you shouldn't wash your beard so often because you're going to remove the sebum and you're going to da 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 wash your beard i wash my beard every night i wash my beard in the nighttime i wash my beard in the morning so in the nighttime i use soap sometimes i use soap and i use um um what do you call it uh, i use soap and i use hold on let me find out what it is all right so it's foaming cleanser okay you use foaming cleanser so you I use soap and I use a gentle soap. You know, I go to Costco, get some cleanser, you know, and I'm grabbing all my stuff through it. I get uh, Kirkland, it's the orange bottle, very gentle soap. I use it for my whole body, okay? And I use it for my face. Then I use a, a facial facial cleanser, which is gentle. I use that in the morning. So I don't even use soap in the morning, but I use a cleanser for my whole entire face, okay? And that, you know, keeps my skin clean of the dirt and the grime. I clean the beard out every day. So I'm not even worried about sebum loss or any of that nonsense. Because what's going to happen is that you're going to have pimples underneath. You're going to have, it's, it's, it's just going to collect dirt. In one day, there's dust flying, dust particles around. There's coronavirus flying around. There's, there's a lot of crap in the air. Okay, so the last thing you want to do is to let it settle in your beard and just rinse it with water, trying to contain every single, you know, you know, any, every single droplet of sebum on your beard. Forget about that, okay? You want to wash your beard every single day, like you brush your teeth. Two times, once in the nighttime, wake up in the morning, facial cleanser. It'll, it'll change your life. Because I was, because <clears throat> after a while, you're just going to cut it off. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna switch it up, change your style. But when you have a beard, you want it to be clean. You do not want to have a stinky, wet beard smelling like a dog, okay? You want to keep it clean. And then <clears throat> also when having a beard, sometimes people are like, oh, that's disgusting. Oh, la, la, la. Live. You see their face, they can't grow a beard. Or you see the person who's talking about it, who's giving it, there's probably a woman. And then that, that, those are the only people who don't like it. So keep it going, keep it growing. Don't worry about what anybody says. Just enjoy it, but keep it clean. Because when you're eating your food and you're getting all this grime on here, and then you're, watch some kind of nonsense to not, to not wash your beard to not shampoo your hair so shampooing shampooing your hair same thing i shampoo my hair once every other day for that it'd be not every day because i'm not eating with my, my mouth is not here and eating with it but i still i wash my hair quite often i don't leave it for a week you know that's the last thing you want to do okay? you want to keep clean okay there's a lot of germs flying about in 2020 and the last thing you want to do is to have the germs settle on you and then now infect you like it's a, some kind of parasite. You want to be clean. Okay. But this grave, grave before shave, grave before shave, grave before shave is a great addition to your 
to your morning routine, whether or not you have a, a large beard or not, or if you have just a goatee, go ahead, grab this, grab this from Amazon. And if you have a beard going on, get the beard balm with the rum. They also have like coffee and caramel, uh, different types of things. They have different types of scents. Uh, they have um, something that smells like forest. They have a lot of scents, but I went with the rum one. That's kind of like I was looking for something like that that I could put on my beard that smells like that smells like uh, whiskey. And I went with the rum because it was people said it was really good. I saw the reviews, so I grabbed it. And then I'm using my fragrances, using my fragrances, and then I just ch -ch -ch, I got this good combination with this Invictus in this rum. So I get a compliment on my fragrance. People come closer, it's like, oh, I like let them smell it. It's like right here. It's like, oh, they smell my oh, what's that? They say, oh, your beard smells like oh, you smell that oh, 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 you know the drill. So <laughs> you double up on them with it. You know, you don't have a a beard that stinks of something else and you have fragrance on they come they come in for a smell and they can smell your sweat from yesterday it's a it's a no go <laughs> so if you guys have any questions ask me in the comment section below you have a fantastic day peace